Yeah, do you want to yeah. Luke here? Uh, Paul, uh, this game will, will raise a few eyebrows, of course, with Exeter being your former club. But before we talk about the match at hand on Saturday, just a quick update. And I know we do this every week, um, not so much on Conor McGrandles and Peter Paulette, because I think we know that they're long-term injured, but the, the three attacking options, Brandon, Sam and uh, Osman, how are they coming along and how close are they to being selected in the first side? Well, Brandon and Sam are currently playing in a, in a practice match out on the training ground, so that gives you some idea they're back into full training so that's really good news really good news so maybe another week or two and they'll be they'll be fit for purpose so fingers crossed and what about Osman not quite yet not quite yet so um, not quite at that point in his, in his recovery so we'll have to maybe give it another week or two is it, is it too simplistic to look at the start of the season and look at the, the, the solidity in defence but maybe not so many goals and say that with those attacking options coming back in the, that's the final part of the jigsaw um Possibly too simplistic. I do see us defending as a team, so defending from the front, and players being able to defend from the front and start the team off. And I do see us being able to attack from the back. So it's not two separate parts. It's, it's one team. Um, it's a sharing out of the energy and the intensity when we have it and when we don't have the ball. Um, but yes, having more to select from, uh, different options will of course give me more chance to do what I need to do but I think had we had everyone available I probably still would have focused to begin with on our defensive focus and I'd wanted to build this team because building a team you know it's it's for the long haul and it doesn't just or shouldn't just rely on the odd bit of brilliance that's very nice to add to the team and the work ethic so I think we started in a place where I would have started anyway but it would be it would be nice to have some more attacking option because I, I don't think it's uh, um, unfair to say we have been depleted there. Does it, well, was it an exciting thing to come to a club? Obviously, it was a complete transformation, but you had these young players dotted in there. And we've just spoken to Callum Britton, who now is just regarded as another first-team player. He's still ever so young, you know, and he got his England, England call-up last season. And, and this is a development season for him in a different way. That must be exciting to be part of the progress of those young players. Yeah, I mean, one, one, of the, one of the things which I look forward to was starting with a new group of players and being able to find some real um, exciting talent in there that hadn't flourished yet or maybe was still to, to be maximised. So Callum is, is, is a real example of that. So I'm really enjoying working with him. Um, and it's something which I knew would happen. You, you leave somewhere where you've been for so, for, somewhere for so long that... You're going into a, 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 a group where you haven't recruited the players, you haven't signed them all, and you, I'm going to have to learn very quickly. And uh, it's been really good to see the likes of Callum. And Conor McGrandles was another one. I mean, you know, obviously he got his injury at Oldham, but another player who instantly sort of took my eye during pre-season as a player who could really play my way. And, um, you know, I, it's always going to be a, a topsy-turvy month or two of transition. And I'm learning about them players are learning about me and we're sort of you know a bit of trial and error but it's exciting Exeter then I mean it's one of those conversations that's very rare because your time at Exeter was so long I mean it's kind of unheard of unless you talk about the Arsenal Fingers yeah. and all that kind of stuff um, what are your emotions obviously you've got to look at this as a football match but was it one you were looking forward to or maybe you, you, you wanted to avoid in certain respects well, I look forward to every game um, I have to say when I was leaving the thought of leaving Exeter, I didn't imagine that I would be up against them in the same league in the future. But here we are, it's happening. Um, more people are talking about it than possibly we are here, that particular dynamic. Um, I can't ignore the fact. Um, I do have, you know, 12 years of, of history there, so of course there are emotions. But generally, it will be a football match, and it'll be me with 11 players against an opponent who's got 11 players and it'll be a fiercely fought game and already it's looking like a battle against a promotion rival and I hope that's, that remains the case I hope we are in that battle going forward so you know these first dozen games the first quarter of the season every team we play there's the potential they could be a competitor we don't know it yet you know if you play in April against a team where it's a six pointer you sort of know it but who's to say that Oldham when you look back at the season, that first game of the season, that wasn't a six-pointer. Um, and that's how we have to view all these games. I think already Exeter have shown themselves to be a very organised and disciplined unit and they're going to be hard to beat. So it's a great game. I've already experienced 
you know, two or three home games now. I've really enjoyed it. It's been a really good experience. The supporters have been, you know, very encouraging and they've and they've got behind the team. I think we've enjoyed giving them something back. I mean, we haven't scored lots of goals yet, but I think we've we've we've, we've given them some energy and some fight and I think that was what I really enjoyed about Tuesday against Grimsby, that the players responded instantly and I think there was a um I think it was reciprocated on the in, in the in the stands. I think I think it was a very enjoyable evening, albeit we didn't get the win. Mm. I presume, just finally, you you would expect a little bit of warmth from the travelling supporters, wouldn't you? Yeah, I hope so, but I can't I can't uh, I can't control that. Who knows? I'm looking forward to the game. I'm looking forward to playing against. Yeah, there's players I know in the opposition team. Of course there is, but I'm 100% focused on the players that I've selected and the players on the bench possibly coming on and supporters who will be supporting MK Dons. That's how it has to be. But it's a big game and I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, um, yeah, we'll wait and see.